All right, y'all, what's going on? What's going on? All right, so today we're eating some tacos and nachos. It's Taco Tuesday for us, actually, but y'all will not see this on Taco Tuesday. Anywho, if you're new to the channel, please, please, please subscribe to the channel. Go and subscribe. Even if you aren't, if you haven't subscribed, definitely go ahead and subscribe to the channel. Hit, Hit that, that bell. bell so you get notifications of the next time we post a video and you share the brands. And leave some comments down below. Let us know things y'all see us try, things y'all see us cook, interact with us, because we do like to hear from you. And subscribe subscribe hit, we already said hit that bell yep hit, okay no 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 hit that hit bell so and notifications for the next time we post a video and then we just and then, we, and then we're gonna say grace yep. and get started <laughs> dear holy father thank you for this food that we're about to receive for nourishment of our bodies and health in jesus name we pray amen also one other thing i do want to know is someone had asked or People like when I've done like different ethnic uh, foods from different ethnicities. So if you would like me to do or try other foods or what have you, just let me know which ones you would like me to try. Okay. So these tacos are pretty simple. We got Gavin has he likes nachos, so he has Doritos and queso cheese, tomatoes, lettuce, and sour cream. He actually likes the actual vegetables. He don't he don't I'm really do pico, pico, but I I put it on there anyway when I do buy it. But he lucky that it wasn't at the store because I'll be lazy and I don't feel like shopping it up. On mine, I have, and most of them I have the meat, the <coughs> queso cheese, um, then the guac, some guac and pico mix. Sometimes you do guacamole, sometimes you don't, but. We got Kool-Aid. Zero calories. Ghetto juice. Ghetto juice? Ghetto juice. Who told you it was zero calories? The bot, the thing. It said like it was like zero calories on there. My mom told me this, y'all. If y'all know how to read, y'all know how to cook. I'm gonna read the recipe. This is probably gonna look real crazy. Okay, so the shells now I got um I got the cool ranch and the henna lime. However, the henna lime shells fresh out the box and I put them in the oven. Now granted I didn't put them in there for that long, but like they soft. Why are you talking about food? No, I'm saying like, um, they're like not crunchy. You know what I'm saying? They, they're, they, they taste like, they've been in the box, like they taste like they stale. But I just bought the box, just opened it today. And I want to say, 
that the Fritz family ENT, I feel like they said that one time. I think that maybe they was talking about these shells. I know they was talking about some taco shells that they had had just opened and they were like stale. And now I'm thinking that they probably was talking about these. Uh -huh. I mean, I want to just bit into that and get, get a little too, but you know what I'm saying? It still can be crunchy, but still, you know what I'm saying? Same kind of stale. I don't know what I'm talking about. I also don't really taste I don't know, I really taste the hint of lime flavor. But there are so many other flavor profiles just going on in these tacos. So Um, I, with the taco meat, I did get our ghetto juice. I did half a seasoning packet because I had one left. And I told y'all that. I threw it away. What? No. I'm going to tell y'all about that in a second. But make sure that you don't get any of this stuff. Move it to the, you know. I had, I told y'all that I was watching my friend, Solid 7. She does a lot of cooking. Tutorials. I also was watching Be Love and Nate, and he was making, Nate made some keto tacos. And he made his own taco seasoning. So I said that I would no longer be buying the packs if it's easy to make. And sure enough, super easy to make. It tastes just like, um, well... I'll report the next time I make tacos because the next time I don't have any other taco seasoning packs. So, but I mean, it does taste good though. And when I was mixing the seasonings together, it's legit. It definitely smells like taco seasoning. I hope you don't got none of my face. It's usually like, I feel like when I watch my videos back, I always be having something on my face. <clears throat> Dang, I think that's the right last of my uh, dang on turtle sauce. Mm -hmm. 
I usually do get the, the nacho cheese taco shells, but they didn't have any. I saw it hanging around. I'm like, hmm, let me try these before. Oh, so I brought that spoon over here. I done volunteered myself to do two spicy challenges, y'all. Um, one is a challenge by Big Dog Plate, and that one is to... It's three noodle bowls. Um, two of them are just regular ramen, and then one of them has to be two times spicy. I forget what the time limit is. Try ramen noodles with you on that deck. Mm -hmm. If you hear when I do it. Yeah, I actually might not stay this week. Because I got that event. The Fortnite event. It's the big Halloween event. They have this uh this like a big old event. I think I think my I'm gonna uh I'm gonna have you re don't don't you remember when I was playing that storm killing game? How, no. Didn't you see me play it? There's like remember. this big, there's like this big guy with with two horn, horns, and he's like a zombie. And pretty much you gotta knock his horns off and everything, like, and then his heart, and then you defeat, and then you defeated him. But he has like little zombies on the ground that try and, that try and get you. And you have to raise your partner. So yeah. Yeah, I hate when you gotta sit there and watch somebody play. But they might give us responding times this year. But last year, if the zombie killed you, you died. You just, you just died. Couldn't respond, nothing. Oh, that one wants you guys to have a bite. I'm trying to wipe this so I don't spill it because y'all know I'm always spilling something. That's going to look crazy because of green screen. I definitely spilled a piece of lettuce. Don't, don't worry about it. Like AC Connects say, don't worry about it. Mm, 
Okay, just now. I just don't want you to spill it. Because I be spilling stuff. So I know you gonna spill it. Gavin, when I say stuff, Gavin be like, I get that. <laughs> I'm like, like, that's fair. Oh, I'm so excited. I, I got these, um, uh, I don't know where I saw these at. Probably from that food page I'd be following. <coughs> but Kroger has pumpkin pie ice cream sandwiches. Mm -hmm. And when I went in the store, I don't know, probably this weekend. Or not this. I went to the store today, but the last time I went to the store, I found them. And so I picked some up. I am. I am. And there's nothing wrong with it. There is not. Shoot, I even love them pumpkin pop tarts. You gotta do tear them up every time I get those. He also likes the pumpkin Oreos. There's something else pumpkin that Gavin would be tearing up. I can't remember what it is, but. Hmm. I'm full. I'll coordinate a cookie ordering my brother because he's not going to be here to get cookies tomorrow. Oh, man. I should have talked about that in the beginning of another video. I don't know, but I guess I'll talk about it now since while Gavin's finishing eating. But So, if you follow... Well, no. It's always, always posted on my personal page, but sometimes I do post about um, the cookies that I get, those really big, thick cookies, and I've done, like, I think I've done at least two videos on these cookies. Me and my sister did one, and then me and Gavin did a video. But these cookies that so we get... Oh, can I make some homemade cookies tonight? No. <laughs> no, nah, bro. But uh, we get those. We get these cookies every Wednesday, and uh, my brother won't be here to get his cookies. But I was just gonna order him some. Um, but in any event, so they call him Hype Man because every Wednesday my brother gets on Instagram and like you know basically like hypes the cookies. Like we do this little video, we all acting crazy, dancing around, like you know being real excited about the cookies or whatever, right? So then, uh, it was pretty dope that he invited my, well, he initially invited my brother to come and taste, taste test their, uh, they're rolling out a Halloween pack of cookies. And, uh, so he invited my brother to come and taste test the cookies. And of course, you know, my brother, you know, he wrote the scene. He was like, because my, when my sister asked, she was like, do we get to come too or whatever? And so he, like all three of us got to go and uh, taste test the cookies and stuff. I thought that was super cool. I saw them cookies fi, okay? They fi. And then, so we he he gave us a tour of like, because he uh, cooks out of a test or a, a commercial kitchen. And he gave us a tour of like where he started in the commercial kitchen versus the space that he has now. And then uh, we just talked, we had a good conversation with him, talked about like his plans for his store, because now he's opening up a storefront. He just did a, a crowdfunding campaign to uh, like fund, um, you know, the inside of the i think he had already had funds to buy the building or you know lease or whatever and now he needed you know to basically furnish the inside of the building or whatever so he did a crowdfunding campaign so we had you know we we all contributed to it or whatever and 
it was like really it was really dope to meet him to hear his story or what have you um just bounce stuff off of him and stuff like that i mean it was pretty cool it was pretty cool the man behind the cookies and then of course i know he loved it well he said that you know it's always that's the best part of you know the his his gig or like his business is being able to interact and you know relate and meet with me his customers and stuff so it was really cool to be able to have done that so shout out to brad okay um yeah so that was fun we had a good time uh and that's pretty cool that we got to do that like I was like, I always, I keep telling him and my family and so I'm like, we really could be famous. And when I reposted the stories, like people just know that we always be talking about these cookies. We always reposting them. So one thing I did forget to ask him though. Um, All done. Okay. I forgot to ask him about one thing because one of my uh, college friends she basically like lit him up because she was like yeah you read a lot of your cookies or whatever and just went in on him like a lot it had to be like 10 plus stories or whatever where she was just because like I don't know I know how he said I, he told us how he came up with his delivery areas or whatever but why he picked chose some over others um, I can't really remember or don't even know if he talked about it or whatever, but basically he don't go to the, he does, it seems as though he does not go to troubled areas or whatever. He mostly just do the burbs and like, uh, suburban areas and areas where there are mostly melanin recessive people or whatever. And then people who want cookies, like you can just kind of use somebody else. Like my brother and my sister, they use my address and my address works. Although my sister's address, we just found out yesterday that hers does work. So, but yeah, so I meant to ask him about that to see like. So Titi won't be coming over here anymore? Ew. What? What is that? Let me see. Ew. I don't know if that was in my. That's gross. Ew. Ew, did I drink that? You probably did. That's disgusting. <laughs> Ew, my cup wasn't clean. Uh, and I didn't look at it before. And, like, it's all this stuff down here. That's absolutely disgusting. <laughs> so, yeah, I meant to ask him about that just to see what his thoughts was. Because I am i don't know if he get. He probably gets that all the time. Or I know he get. Huh? You can drink mine. No, I'm okay. No, oh, I no. definitely want to drink yours. Mine's, mine's no, it's all type of floaters in there. I see it. Oh, no. Not. Yeah, so I'm sure he gets that all the time or whatever. At least people who no. aren't able to, like, order the cookies and stuff like that. But, yeah, so it would have been interesting to actually talk with him in person about it. But next time, because I'm sure we'll meet him again. So, um, yeah. Cool. Anywho, thank you so much for watching this video. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Leave some comments down below. Let us know things you like to see us try, things you like to see us cook, interact with us. Please do you like to hear from you. And subscribe to the channel. Don't mind subscribe. Hit that bell so you get notifications the next time we post a video. And we'll see you in the next one. Oh, back there, bro. You left.